Are you a witch or you like to do spiritual stuff and you're on a budget? This video is perfect for you. Coming up, we're going to talk all about Dollar Tree fines. Hi, my name is Mel. I'm from Mel's Divination, and today I'm going to share with you all the stuff that I found at Dollar Tree. So I was inspired by multiple videos from multiple sources of people who have gone to places like the Dollar Tree, and they found resources. They found all sorts of things. And some of this was from other people. Some of this was just I was at the Dollar Tree and I've been buying things from the Dollar Tree forever for my spiritual practice. So it's a combination. And the reason why I'm not going to include or quote people is because I honestly don't know exactly where this came from. Okay. There's lots of other YouTubers out there that share their Dollar Tree finds. So that's on them. <laughs> I do know some of that came from them. But I'm not sure who, so I'm sorry about that. I do like to give credit where credit is due. So today, I'm going to sit with you guys. I'm going to share all the stuff I have. I have about 27, 28 items. I don't know exactly how much I spent because I bought other non-witchy items, non-spiritual items. But I did want to sit and share with you the stuff that I have because there's so much. If you just think outside of the box of how to work with this stuff and... I was really excited because I wanted to do something a little upbeat, a little different, and I am definitely on a budget during this pandemic. Things are not typical right now, and I went to the Dollar Tree to pick up some candles. I'm obsessed with their candles, and I found that this Dollar Tree near my house is amazing. Their craft aisle is exploding, so I was really, really excited, and that's kind of where I got inspired to do this. So, without any more delay, let's go. This is going to be a short video. This is not going to be a long video. And some of this stuff I've already used, so I will give you a little bit of feedback, too, on how much, what, what I think about that, okay? So I'm going to start from the back and work my way forward. So the first things I really like, and I don't, I didn't pick any up on this trip because actually this Dollar Tree didn't have any, but I love, oh, now I'm going to show you all of these. They have these gorgeous, tall pillar candles. People call them seven day candles, but the Dollar Tree ones are not seven day. They don't last seven days. So there are the traditional seven day candles that you can get at botanicas you can get them online you can get them pretty cheap I don't have a botanica near me so Dollar Tree is the closest that I can get I really like to put these on my altar and typically they have plain white ones my Dollar Tree didn't have any white ones right now but I was super excited because they don't usually have colored ones they had orange and they had purple so I bought a ton I'm just showing you an example of each but I bought a lot <laughs> which is why I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly how much I spent. I must have bought at least six or seven of these, at least six or seven of these, because I don't know when I'm going to see the colors of them again. They are, they're not fragile as far as I'm concerned. I've been buying these candles from Dollar Tree, this type, color the white normally, but this type for at least six, seven years, maybe even longer than that. I started buying them years ago. I keep them burning all over the place in every single room. I leave them on my altars. I am, I do all sorts of work with them. I leave them in every room. And honestly, I am, as an empath, I am I like to joke and say I'm partially autistic, but really I'm just very sensitive. I am so prone to migraines. Harsh light hurts my eyes. Harsh sound hurts my ears. I get migraines. So at night when, when it gets dark, I prefer candlelight. I, I just always like candles, but I prefer candlelight. So I would rather burn candles in my house than turn the overhead lights on. 
It's just who I am. So dollar candles and these, if you burn them straight through, they last like four or five days. So they do last a long time. They're just not seven day, seven, the traditional seven day candle. Then we have St. This is St. Jude. It says Spanish. The Dollar Tree ones say the Spanish on the top and the English on the bottom. So these are St. Jude. I love the St. Jude candles. Where is my camera? There it is. I love the St. Jude candles. It's St. Jude is a prayer for, is a patron saint of lost causes. Um, if you don't work with saints, that's cool. I am nonconformist. I was raised Catholic. I left the church. I'll do, I actually have that as a to-do video eventually, but I still work with certain angels and saints and gods and goddesses. Um, and I will talk about all that one day. Archangel Michael is a major archangel that I work with. So is Archangel Raphael. And actually Saint Jude was one of the first saints that ever came to me. So I do work with St. Jude. This is um, Mother Mary, even though it says as Lady of Guadalupe. It's, it's the Spanish version of Mother Mary. And then I found this super interesting. Oh, let me hold this one up a little bit for you to say. It's Mother Mary. It's the Spanish version. And then... And they have prayers on the back of them too. So that's pretty cool. But you can do your own. You don't have to, it's just, I like the imagery. So when I've had problems with um, f family things or things I'm worried about, there's certain things, petitions that I wanna make to these saints or these to Mary or whatever, I will light that candle and leave it on my altar or I will do workings with that individual. This one is brand new. I never saw it before, and I go to the Dollar Tree a lot in the candle section. And this, I was like, what is this? It's a saint I've never heard of until I, I found this candle like two days ago. It's called, I don't know if you guys can see it, Saint, oh, and this is backwards. That's right, it's always backwards. Saint Corona. Saint, I'll take a picture of it and put it on my Instagram. Instagram. So check down below on my links for my Instagram. It's Mel's divination readings and there's there's underscores between the words. Saint Corona. And I was when I was talking, I was actually on the phone with my mother about it and I was like, this is ridiculous. Are you serious? There really is a saint and my mom was raised Catholic, but she's very supportive of what I do. I'm so lucky. And she was like, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure she went to Catholic school as a child. And she looked it up and she was like, yep, it sure is. And the crazy thing is, this is about com comfort and healing the sick, giving comfort to those who are grieving, giving wisdom and energy to doctors and researchers. And I was like, mom, this, is, this can't be. And she's a registered nurse. Power to all the nurses and doctors in time of extreme stress and praying for those who are in panicking. This is real. And I was like, mom, no, no, no. This has got to be made up. It has to be. It's not. And the reason why I got this candle is because I, and I'm not going to disclose anything personal in, 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 for privacy issues, but I have somebody very close to me who was recently diagnosed with a very serious illness, not Corona. And I wanted to do a working for them to help heal them. And <laughs> it's just so interesting when you put out to universe help me help me help me find my way help me find my way help me help them and this comes through it's crazy so the next ones i have are epsom salts with se with um seasoning eh. with scents this one's lavender and this one is eucalyptus these are so my, my feedback on this are is they don't smell the best. I'm, like I said, I'm sensory sensitive. So smells, noise, sight, I'm sensitive. Epsom salt is amazingly spiritually cleansing. It, it absorbs negative energy. And they're supposed to have, it says fragrance. It doesn't say what the, how the fragrance is. 
So lavender helps relax and detox you. And Epsom salt, um, eucalyptus has other super great healing properties in it. So I was like, and I actually on my, if you're interested, on my Etsy shop, and I will link that down below, I make my own Epsom salt, lavender, eucalyptus purifying bath. And I use all natural essential oils. I use lavender, actual lavender herbs and actual eucalyptus herbs. And I infuse it with intention. And I use my ancestors and my guides to help me put that all together. I don't use these because <laughs> this is junk. But I thought, oh, this might be for myself a quick, cheap way to just stir it together instead of using my problem now. So if you want to zhuzh it up a little bit, you could probably throw in some essential oils. Be careful when you use essential oils on your skin because if you're not using it properly, you can burn yourself. So make sure you're paying attention to that. Lavender is mostly safe, but you got to be careful with that. All right, moving on. We now have, I found, I love, love, love pink Himalayan salt. This is a whole pound of pink Himalayan salt. So this, I don't buy regular salt. Sometimes I will if I'm for like maybe a recipe or that, and it's usually a recipe that is done by my mother or if I'm doing a working. But pink Himalayan salt is all I cook with now. It's also non-GMO, it's vegan certified. This is a pound. If you buy this in like a regular grocery store, depending on where you're at, but uh, like a Walmart or a stop and shop where I live, uh, some type of typical grocery store, you're gonna pay three or four dollars for this. They're, it's expensive, it's not cheap. And this is good quality. I've bought this three or four times. I actually have like an old shaker that I just keep adding this to. So this is really good stuff. You can even add it to your baths. It is just as cleansing and helpful and detoxifying. And because it's pink, it helps with self-love. So that's really good So it's witchy and it is, you can add it to your workings. So it's both good for your food and it's good for your body and it's good for your witch items. And then we have incense. So I haven't burned them yet. I haven't decided if I love them yet. We'll see. Again, I'm very sensitive for smell. So I will post these on my Instagram because I know these are backwards. I'll take pictures and post most of this stuff on Instagram. But this is Aromatherapy 40 Piece Incense Sticks Root. They're 10 inches and it's for your Root Chakra Nag Champa. And then, and it says they're handmade, supposedly. And then this is also Aromatherapy 40 Pieces Incense Sticks. They say they contain essential oil, but it doesn't say what kind. And then this one is sandalwood for your sacral chakra. So, we'll see. And then, on to the rest of the little baby candles. So everything is a dollar, to be clear. Every item is a dollar. So then they have these really awesome, every season, it changes seasonally. I love these. They don't burn for very long, a couple hours, maybe like tea lights, maybe, maybe, yeah, a couple of hours, not super long. These are three ounces. I'll take, I'll take pictures and put them on my Instagram, like I said. Pump, these are, this is pumpkin spice. It's a luminescence is the brand, Luminescence, but these are actually legitimate mason jars. It says mason right on them. They're actual mason jars. It says the ounces on them, two thirds, one third ounces. And they have the screw on cup cover. And what I do, and they actually smell really, really good. This one's a pumpkin spice. This one's a rake pile leaf. So they're baby mason jars and they're real mason jars. So what I actually do with these, when I get after I'm done burning them, a great tip for these is when they're empty is to put them in hot water, not with the cover, take the cover off, save the cover, put them in hot water, melt the wax, 
once it, it not boiling hot but just like just enough so that it fill it, it it's sitting in hot water melt the wax and then dump the wax into the trash into your trash can and then wipe it out while while the wax is still kind of moist wipe it out with a paper towel and then wash it don't use this for food but you can store your herbs in here Put it, wash it really good with soap and water, wash the cover. You can, these peel off and you can use Goo Gone so it doesn't stay sticky. I have a lot of, actually, I'm gonna go get them. So I have a lot of like baby herbs, like little ones that don't fill up a whole mason jar. I store all of my herbs in mason jars um, out of the sun. And so like I have small containers and they need to be in airtight containers. So this one I have literally the same thing, like Tonka beans. I actually got these from when I went to Salem. Tonka beans are super poisonous. I got them from this place called the Coven's Cottage. You can actually look them up. Oh, and this is all backwards, so I don't know why I'm showing you. But see, it's the same exact container. I cleaned it out. And then, and it opens up fine, no problem. And this one is just, I started saving my egg, this says eggshells. I started saving my eggshells, same thing. Smoky. So, just just suggestions for you. So this is Harvest Hayrides, Rake Pile Leaf. If you like candles, they're really great. It's great. You can reuse them. You can save them. You can wash them. They go in the dishwasher. It's awesome. And then I have this one, which I don't know if I would reuse. It does have a really cool top. Um, I started. I started to, it smells so good. This one's a soy blend. Those are not soy blend, I don't believe. No, just scented candles. Mahogany Beechwood. And it, it's small, three ounces. But this one smells like it could go for ritual stuff. Okay, now that we're at 16 minutes already, getting on to the rest, I'm gonna start trying to move a little bit faster. So then they have all these really cool glass bottles, sometimes. I've found them sometimes and sometimes they don't have them. So it really depends. It's like hit or miss. And I'm all, I also find it depends what Dollar Tree you go to. I live in a really small state. And one time I go to, like depending on where I'm at, if I'm in one, one, um, one town, not country, <laughs> one town like visiting my aunt, I'll run in because I need to get something and I know that, I, that they have it near my house. And they have like nothing. They had no candles. But the one near my house has all the stuff. So it really depends on the the one the one you go to. So I got this one, I don't know, at one point. This one I've had for a while, but I decided to throw it in because I thought it would be so good. I haven't even opened it yet. It's sealed still. It has a cork on it. I thought it would be so good for either moon water or spell a spell bottle. I haven't decided. But I got it and put it aside. And then this one I've been using for moon water. This is Halloween 2020, the um, full, super full moon. So that one's going to go back over here so it doesn't end up in the sun, in the, in the daylight. And then, and I like the, the one with that co cover. Like this one I think would be better for spell bottles or something. And then we have two little votive things that I just thought were pretty. I've got two of them. I've been using them, but I wanted to show you what it looked like with a candle. So those are really pretty. And then I got these really cool chalk writers. This is what one looks like without it. And I wanted to show it to you. So I thought they were markers, but they're not. They're more like crayons. And... You can turn them up, almost like they remind me of the twistable crayons, and they look like this in the package. And they actually wash off. There's all these directions about washing them off, so that's kind of cool. And then these I'm so excited about. These are wooden, blank wooden craft cubes. This is what I meant by the craft section Get is getting... Oh, I'm a little too close to the camera. Let me back up since I ran and grabbed mine. <laughs> okay, there we go. So these are wooden craft cubes. And 
I'm super psyched about these for divination. And you can do whatever you want. That's what's awesome about them. I don't know. There's 20. No, there's 36 of them. I don't know if I'll use all 36 for divination, but there's so much that I can do with these with divination. I've been thinking about maybe putting astrology signs on here. I've been thinking about using them for when questions because I get a lot of when is this going to happen? When is that going to happen? And I think it would be really quick to just roll them and see. I've been thinking about making a set for yes or no, because um, I get a lot of that. And it would be really quick to just roll them. I've been thinking about throwing, cr just creating my own little set. Because uh, some of the thoughts I've been thinking is I would like something more for a kind of, like I could put runes on them. It would be a lot easier to do runes on here. I've been thinking... Even like lately, I've been getting a lot of career questions and how nice it would be to have a deck with more career options. So I might even do something like that. So I haven't fully connected with what I want to do here or emotions maybe. Yeah. And I don't even need that a lot of times, but it would be nice to have. So I haven't decided what I'm doing with that yet. All, all this stuff I just grabbed because I was like, oh, I can do things with them. So some of them I have, I'm still kind of like, Meh. I don't know what I'm doing. So that these three, I literally don't know what I'm going to do, but I will figure something out. So then there's these, this is a five piece mini glass containers. I mean, look how cute they are. Literally so freaking cute. For five of these, they were a buck. They have screw covers. Same thing. Here's four of them, but they're bigger. I don't know if I would do oils or if I would do spell spell stuff. And then same, this one, but this one, these are corks, and there's six of them. So I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't decided yet, but I just bought them. Impulse buy, because I never find this stuff in my Dollar Tree. So I just was like, <gasps> Oh my god! I literally had to rein myself in because I was out of control. And then there's these two-piece containers, storage containers. I don't know what I'm doing with that either. I haven't decided. And then I bought modeling clay. I've been wanting, I saw this really awesome idea. This one I can give credit to from the Witch of Wonderlust, which I have not been able to buy because she said she got it from the Dollar Tree and I really just don't want to spend $9 for a bucket of it. At Walmart was air drying clay to make little holders for chime candles which I love that idea because I only have one holder and I just I use it all the time and I could use more and she suggested using air drying clay to make your own and I love that I love it I love it but I haven't been able to find any at the Dollar Tree so I saw this and I thought you know what maybe if I just let it sit out and dry I could try it so I'm gonna give that a shot and see if if it dries, I don't know. I don't know if it will, but to be continued on that one. We will see. We'll see how it goes. So that's it. I think I counted when I first put everything out that I had maybe like 28 items or something like that. So to get all this stuff, it would be about $30 approximately. Yeah. And you could do a lot. You could do so much with this, with your imagination and with your with your gifts and with your abilities and just really thinking on it. So if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if there's any ideas that you have, uh, if there's stuff that you would do that I haven't thought of, feel free to reach out, comment below. Please like, subscribe, share. And that's about it. And check out my Etsy store if there's anything that piques your interest, if you're looking for stuff. So I hope that you found this entertaining and I wanted to do something a little bit more fun today. So I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye.